community members of Lo Sasaneng village and the surrounding areas near Tawung, this is in the northwest, say the 21-day time frame given to the office of the Premier and that of the Greater Tawung local municipality to respond to their memorandum of demands has lapsed. Now the locals are up in arms over poor service delivery in the area. Let's get an update from our reporter. Refilwe Sibuko, who is live for us there. Refilwe, good morning to you. A, a reminder again of the service delivery challenges, but also importantly, what the community plans to do now that that deadline has lapsed. Service delivery challenges as a whole, you remember that the Northwest Province is one of those provinces that is uh, having a lot of challenges when it comes to service delivery, particularly water, uh, roads, housing are just some of the things that residents in the Northwest Province continue uh, to complain about. Residents of Losasaneng near Daung in the Northwest Province, that is on the 28th of June, they had been on a service delivery march and at that time we understand that the officials from the office of the Premier together with officials from the municipality had came over uh, to the ground to, us, to receive their memorandum of demands. They had given the two officers 21 days to respond to that memorandum of demands. They're saying now that 21 days has lapsed and now they still want answers to those memorandum of demands. But allow me to welcome uh, Mr. Liu to tell us more about what was in that memorandum of demands that you handed over uh, to the officials. Yes, thank you, Ms. Ms. Refibe. Uh, my name is Mr. Liu. Yes, on the demand of the, on the memorandum, the demands were about poor service delivery, because in most of our villages, more especially Ikacheng, the internal roads are in a bad state. Since the councillor have installed the high mass lights last year October, even right now those high mass lights they are not energized. Uh, there is an there is a community hall at Kamilpes that was constructed in 2017 and up to now that community hall has not been used because of poor uh, construction defects and in Losasaneng there are houses since they have made those the slabs of the houses even, even those houses up to now they have not been built uh, even in India the other villages like Komojo the councillor now he is building a, a, a an internal road from from, from the police station to, to, to via, via, the, via, the, via the, the tavern to, to his, resident, his residential place. So the, com the community of Komocha, they are not happy about the way Mr. Maribe, the councillor Mr. Maribe, is handling the affairs of the, of the, of, of the community. Let me ask this, uh, Mr. Leo. You say that the 21 days that you had given to the officials has lapsed. What now? Uh, we have tried to be engaged with the 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 the, 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 the provincial the provincial uh, the, the the premier's office from the district. Even now, they have not they have not come to us because the twenty-one days have passed. We have tried to engage with them. They always tell us they will come next week when they have supposed to come. They don't even answer their phones. We we can't hold, get hold of them, and nothing has been done since we have handed in the memorandum. Thank you so much. Let me welcome uh, Buitumelo. Just to find out, Buitumelo, from the memorandum of demands and your grievances, service delivery challenges here, what are you expecting uh, when the officials finally uh, or, or eventually respond and how would you like them to address your challenges? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Buitumelo Tagnani, a resident from Ikaheng. Uh, what we are actually expecting when we like for them after uh, responding to us in a memorandum, we are expecting them to do like what we've asked them to do. Like for instance, those high mass lights that uh, the other one has been there for close to four years now, but it still hasn't been on. And the other one has been there for two years in Ikari, it still hasn't been on. Those unfinished uh, houses that it's just left, we are expecting them to come uh, and, and uh, build them properly. Uh, there's, there's lot, actually a lot of things. Uh, the, the, the other grievance that we also wrote on the memorandum was that they uh, took learners from here to go and study, but, then they, but still they haven't been accredited. So you see uh, much, has been, much has, is happening, and for them also to come and uh, 
put uh, the councillor into order because he's very rude and uh, uh, the vulgar words that he usually uses towards us in a meeting. I think he must also be disciplined. Uh, yes. Thank you so much for your time. Let's leave it there for now. Let's leave it there for now, Koli, uh, but these are some of the challenges that residents here in uh, Losasaneng, Ikaheng, uh, they say also Komoto. Uh, these are some of the areas just around uh, Daung they are faced with. We had arranged with, in, in fact, we have in, arranged with the greater Daung local municipality to respond to uh, these grievances that are raised by uh, the residents here. And later on, we'll give an update on how the municipality is responding to this. Life for us in the northwest province there, Rifilu Saboko. Uh, thanks indeed for that update. Oh.